Hello, and welcome to the Resource Library Presentations, produced by the NCC's Comprehensive Digitization and Discoverability Program. In this video series, generously funded by the Toshiba International Foundation, the NCC's CDDP Task Force highlights projects that are making digital images accessible in new ways. Each presentation discusses the project's content and purpose, how to use the site, and which tools were used to build it. We hope that these videos inspire and support those using images in their work or who plan to digitize their own collections. Hello, my name is Kiyonori Nagasaki. I'm working in SAP SAC Daisokyo Database Committee as a technical manager and a developer. I will introduce some services on the treatment of digital images provided by the SAC Committee. The SAC Database Committee, led by Professor Masahiro Shimada of the University of Tokyo, is a project that began in 1994 to build a full text database of Buddhist scriptures. Initially, the committee has been working on the construction of the text database of a series of Buddhist scriptures, Taisho Tsukitaka. And in 2012, it released digital images of Buddhist scriptures, followed by the release of the Buddhist scripture image database, adopting TripLive in 2016. Since then, we have been creating and releasing images of British scriptures compliant with IIIF, as well as developing and releasing a mechanism to link these images with text databases. In this video, I will introduce several databases provided by the SAT committee focusing on the use of these digital images. The three databases I will introduce here are the SAT Taisho Zo Image Database, the TripleF Manifest for Buddhist Studies, and the SAT Daisoku Database. Let's take a look at the SAT Taisho Zo Image Database first. This database provides digitized images of 12 volumes of the image section of the Taisho Shinshu Daisoku or Taisho Terukitaka, which contains Buddhist icons, such as both Sattva and Mandara, with over 20,000 annotations. For example, this Mandara image has been annotated with 391 icons appearing in Mandara. Annotations are displayed in a proper like this. The attributes of these Bodhisattvas are displayed in this way. The image can also be zoomed in like this. Unfortunately, these attributes and the names of the icons are only available in Japanese for now. But we have a plan to make them available in English. Next, let's take a look at the search function. If you enter the name of a Bodhisattva or Mandala, you can search for it in this way. You can also search by attribute like this. You can also select an attribute from a table which is popped up by clicking the tag button in order to search for it. For example, if you search for frame here, the search result will show you icons with frame here, like this. After this, there are several ways to view the image. First, if you want to enlarge the thumbnail as it is, click on the image. Then you can view this thumbnail image. You can use the arrow keys to be the next thumbnail image. Next, if you want to see the page that contains this image, click on the page number. Then, 
the painting will be displayed like this. If the icon is lopsided and difficult to see, you can rotate it 90 degrees like this. Now, let's go back to the frame hair search user. Next, if you want to compare images from multiple pages side by side, click the checkbox next to the icon. Then, your card will be displayed. Then, click the display in parallel button to display multiple images side by side in this way. You can zoom in and out and display annotations each screen. Of course, you can rotate the image like this. You can compare the frame here like this. Let's go back to the frame here search result again. Finally, I'd like to introduce a function to exhibit various icons in the world of Animal Crossing New Horizons in Japanese, Atsumare Dobutsu no Mori, which is a video game to enjoy slow life in the virtual world released by Nintendo. As the Animal Crossing provides a function to include small images via QR code, Recently, several famous cultural institutions such as Getty and the Metropolitan Museum provided their artworks for the Animal Crossing by QR code so that the game players can enjoy them in the virtual world with their online friends. So, this database also functions to make the image of this icon into QR code in order to include them in the virtual world. If we want to display a bodhisattva or mandala in the animal crossing, uh, go to your um, favorite image, then click add link like this. Then uh, you can use the function to split the image of the bodhisattva or other object and turn it into a QR code so that it can be displayed in the animal crossing. First, make a rectangle turning an object in the page. Like this. Then, set the number of tiles like this. Then, click this button to split the cropped image into tiles. Then, put this button to display QR codes. After that, you can capture these QR codes into the animal crossing. In addition, since these images are published as live, they can be easily imported into other systems like this. This is a different website available for triple images in general. We hope that you will make use of this database in your research and fun on British icons. Next, let me introduce the triple F manifest for Buddhist studies. Libraries and other cultural institutions around the world are now publishing TRIPLF compliant digital collections on the web. Many of them include British scriptures. Therefore, we have created a website that takes advantage of the features of TRIPLF in order to extract only Buddhist scriptures. This is a TRIPLF manifest for Buddhist studies. This site collects only triple compiled images of Buddhist scriptures from digital collection around the world. Uh, for example, uh, like this um, from a um, German uh, library, like this.
the images themselves remain on the respective institution site, but the site allows users to add metadata and other information necessary for research to the images. For example, a URL of an image of a particular scripture and its related information can be obtained as a web API. This is intended to be used from a variety of websites. In addition, the TripF manifest for Bridge studies is made available through the SAT Daisokyo Texo database. This means that TripF compliant Bridge scripture images from various regions can also be viewed from the result of a full text search. You can access them in this way from the result of a search here. Here, then see here. Then uh, you can see an image of this scripture and uh, you can see other evidence or witnesses like this. However, uh, this is not yet sufficiently convenient. Therefore, we have also developed a function to link individual partial images of Buddhist scriptures, and we are gradually working on this linking process. In this way, we are able to either check where variant reading exists in the corresponding image. Click here and then click here. At the right, uh, click, click here and click here. This means that we can now approach the glyphs in the manuscript and the woodcut printings as opposed to the transcribed text that has been used in text revision up to now. And this will bring a new dimension to textual criticism and scholarly edition. And this is a brief introduction to the use of digital images in the SAT committee. However, we are currently developing a drastically improved version of the SAT database, and we expect to be able to provide a completely new interface within a year. At that time, I would like to introduce it to you again in this way. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching the presentation. We hope you found it useful. Please check other videos in the CDDP presentation library.